Hey guys, so we're out in the desert today with the base camp trailer. I'm gonna go over real quick how to take out the Tough Stuff Overland Alpha tent, pop it up, get everything set up, open up all the windows, and then show you guys how to close it down as well. So the first step of opening up this tent is these locking latches right here. They all come with this key, it's a circular key. You can see there's a little arrow here. You put it in and turn and it'll unlock. Take this guy out, push down, and then you're gonna just take this guy off. Same thing on this side over here. So as we walk over, we're gonna put the key in, twist, pop down, push down a little bit, this comes right off. Next step after that is take off all these Velcro straps. There's two in the front. There's also two in the sides. One right here, one right here. And then as we walk to the back side, or the front side of the trailer, Two more right here. One more thing I want you to make sure that if you're doing this with the base camp trailer itself, to extend out your awning as far back at first to see where it opens up. Then once you see how far it pushes forward, you can put it in and adjust it accordingly. So the next step after everything's taken off is you're gonna take the, tra the tent and push straight up. The hydraulics should be able to lift that guy up there. You're gonna see this strap, keep that in mind, that's gonna come into play later. On this side, you can see there's a little cord here. That's just keeping all of this fabric in place for when you close it, and we'll show you that once we close it a little bit later. Put that here, or you can hang it right back to the same side. The next step is we're going to step up and remove this ladder cover. So on the ladder right here, there's a cover for when you close it down, just to make sure nothing gets stuck on it. You can do it here and try to pull it over. But usually what I do is I step on this little railing right here, pop up and it slides right over. You'll see that in a second as well. On top of here as well, and you can give me that right now. On top of here, you guys can see, the ladder does have a latch on it, so you want to take that latch off, move over that cover. Once that latch is off, the ladder can now extend out. You're going to step back down, take the ladder, pull it all the way out until everything clicks into place. Push down and pull back. Now you can see that the tent is fully popped up, basically ready to camp in. There's one more step before you want to climb up. You're going to adjust this ladder so it can have some bare weight for this part of the tent as, as well. You're going to start from the top of the ladder. One ream up, the next ream up, till you're about this angle is good. That's going to give you more than enough bare weight. If your tent is lower or higher, you can adjust accordingly, but make sure you start from the top. You can see now that these are locked into place. But if they aren't locked, this has movement. Once it's locked, there's no movement. So that's a very, very important step in this as well. So the ladder cover can, can now come off. All you have to do is there's a little track system that it runs into. Pull that straight out. You can leave it in if you want to, but there are some extra bags to be able to slide in there. And I'll show that in just a moment. As I climb up, I'm gonna throw this in here. This guy, which is important, we can put on top of the tent for now. This cover does zip up, but if it's during the daytime or you want it open, if it's a hot night, you can roll it up here. Pull this orange tab over. This one slips inside, that'll hold it up. There's another one on this side as well. There's full bug screening, so you can leave it open and have uh, make sure that there's no bugs that, that are getting into the tent, as well as there's another cover on the inside as well. Same thing on the other side, you can roll it up and keep it open that way as well. 
So the Alpha does come with a couple extra bags. Here's one right now. You can see it slides right into this track system. You just push it through. Hangs here. This one is a shoe holder. So you can put your shoes in here while you go up into the tent. The Alpha tent also comes with these spring rods. What that's gonna do is right over here, you can see the size of the window. There's a flap right here. That has a bit of a pass through to the tent. So if you wanted to do a diesel heater in here or in your truck or wherever it is, you can do that if you, and pass it through straight to the tent. If you wanna close that up, there's some Velcro on the bottom side. Just make sure that that is uh, closed. Right here, you can see where this rod is going to fit in. Just like that. This is gonna spring back and fit inside of these holes right here. The way that I like to do it usually is put it in first, come up, spring it back, pop it in. And then obviously you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. That'll make sure that this is nice and open. And if you wanna have the window passing through into the tent, you can do that. As well as there's bug screening on the windows as well. So you can leave those open during the day and bugs won't get into the tent. Okay guys, so as we go up into the tent, you can see there's about inch and a half, inch and a quarter mattress right here, super comfortable. A lot more comfortable than a lot of the other um, mattresses that come in these tents. On the inside of the tent, there's holders on the back as well as a uh, thermal lined blanket that comes up and around. Window on that side, window on that side. Super spacious, huge space in here. I think it equ equates to a queen size bed. And then up here, there is a skylight for a window as well on the top that you can look through and there is bug screening on that as well up into the stars at night. So all in all, tons of space and an absolutely amazing tent. So inside the box of all the parts that come for the tent, and that's gonna be in the same compartment for the trailer that comes with all the parts for the trailer as well. There's gonna be this little padded like envelope type thing. What you're gonna do is open that up. And inside this is gonna be the switch for the lights. Now there's lights on the bottom of the tent as well as the inside. The light bar is right here. All LED, they can go from white light as well as amber light. They can dim and go brighter. The plugs that's gonna plug into is right here on the tent. And the other one that's a little trickier to find is right underneath this mattress. You can see it right here. So what you're gonna do is plug these guys into the lights and then screw it on. Then hook this up to a power source. What I like to do is bring a battery box up into the tent that I have it. That way I can have it with me inside the tent or you can plug it straight into the trailer on the back side where the fridge compartment is. So you can see here, this is power on and off, dim, brighten, and then you can switch between amber light and white light on that switch right there. So what we're gonna do now is close the tent up. You're gonna pull a ladder out, fully extending it. Exact same thing as before. You're just gonna push up. Have that closed down. You can see that black strap pops over. Let that close. And then for the tent itself, there's two switches on this first one that go inwards. Then you push straight in. The whole tent will close, or the whole um, ladder system will close up here. What I like to do is step on this side step right here, pop up real quick, get this black strap out. And then we're gonna latch up this ladder again and put the ladder cover over. Now, once that ladder cover is over and it's closed up, we're gonna come back over, grab this elastic strap. Remember we took that off in the beginning. That's gonna come over all of this fabric. That's what's gonna keep the fabric in when we close this up nice and tight. All the way to this little tab right here. Then we come back to the front, make sure that this Velcro's off, tucked in, Velcro's off, tucked in. We're gonna grab this black strap, make sure that we take it outside of that, 
pull straight down. As it's closing up, once it gets to about here, a little lower, we're just gonna go on the sides and all this fabric that's here, we're just gonna tuck it in. Tuck all this in, make sure it all comes inside. Back over to this side. If you need to lift it up a little bit, that might have to happen as well, just so you can get this all in. I'm gonna do that now. Come here, just lift up a little bit. Tuck this all in. And then we're gonna go do that on the other side as well and then close everything up. All tucks in, nice and tight. Once that's tucked in, the thing that I always forget as well is make sure that we tuck this guy in as well. So we're gonna come in here, just tuck it in, pull it all up, tuck it in. And there is like a little bit of a lip there that you can tuck that in or you can line it along here, whatever works. Pull down, make sure this latches out and this latches out. I tend to pull these down and just get this over first. Once those guys are on, you're gonna come, grab the Velcro, pull down nice and tight, Velcro that in place. Same on this side. Now, if you wanna lock the Velcro, you should if you're driving, you're gonna loop it in and through this, then pull down. That's gonna lock that in place and be a lot tighter than just doing this normal double loop. For right now, just so I can get it done quickly, I'm gonna show you guys just what it looks like when it's all down. Then obviously there's two more on the other side, but I'll show that in just a moment. Now we're back at the front and the next step and the last thing to do is just to close these latches up here, lock them in place. Same as here, close, lock in place. Now your tent's put away and you're ready to get driving.